What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got something new in today. We're going to be lowering this Transporter T6. It's actually a 2020 plate. So, I'm just going to be running you through exactly what we do. Okay, so we're underneath the back end now. I think I'm going to start with the rear, because that should be the easiest to do. By the looks of it, I'm just going to undo this sh shocker, which is the one bolt, and then that should allow this arm to come down to get the springs out. Shouldn't be too hard to do, because all the bolts are brand new. I've just unbolted the two bolts which hold the bottom of the shockers and then I've jacked the rest of the van up which allows this arm to come down just enough to pull the old spring out so I've changed this one I'm just going to run you through what I've done with this one So what we've gone for, we've gone for the H&R lowering kit, which they're a good quality spring. Um, they've been around for years, to be fair. So all you've got to do is grab your new spring. When you can see the, you can see the size difference and the thickness in the coil already. So it's going to, uh, it's going to drop it quite a bit. So just swap your rubbers over. Make sure everything's, uh, everything's in, nothing's trapped. Swap them over and then chuck it back in. Fucking hell. Or cut that. So then all I'm gonna do now is slowly lower the jack so then springs will be compressed. And then line, line your shockers back up. Drop your bolts back through. Once you've got your bolts back through, lower it down all the way. So that you can um, tighten these up so you set the bush to where it should sit when it's on the road and then tighten it. But yeah, they've, they've gone in quite nice. All right, so it's a little bit different with the front. It's not as easy as the back. Can't, normally you can just knock the hub down and you can get the shocker out the top but unfortunately the leg of the shocker is that long you, you lose the travel on your wishbone and your drive shaft so the only thing you can do is strip everything off like the caliper, track rod ends, everything connected to the hub strip it all off and then you can knock the hub off then so it's, it's a little bit more messing around but Got to be done right. Just got to um, carefully take your brake pad sensor wire out before you take your caliper off because you'll break it. So yeah, a little bit more time spent on the front. 
All right, so once you've got everything unbolted off the hub, you need to move on to the top mount. And to access that, it looks like you've got to get the wiper blades off. So unbolt them. And then there's like a couple of panels, both sides. You need to uh, somehow find out how they unbolt. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the wipers off and then go from there. This is the, uh, the tray you've got to remove to get to the top mount. It's, you, the, the one bolt's easy to get to, but the other bolt's just under the scuttle tray. Can't really figure out how to pop this up. Feels really tight down here. So I, I don't really need it fully off, because I can, can get in there and uh, unbolt that with, um, with something a bit smaller than this. I think that's what I'm gonna try and do.
Okay, so this side, the airbox is in the way, so what you're gonna have to do is just take off the, the lid of the airbox. So, unplug your sensor, take off the intake pipe, under the two clips, airbox lid comes out of the way, and that reveals this. So you've got the two bolts here, undo them, and then that should be enough just to pull that out. Well then that's a wrap guys, we've finally got all the springs on this van. The backs were really easy but the fronts were a little bit difficult. Uh, I've actually had to jack this up again because these wheels was catching the carrier. So what I've done is I've just stuck a 5 more spacer in between the wheel and the hub. Spice the wheel out slightly so it doesn't catch. So that should drop a little bit more when he drives it. But yeah, it's down, down too bad. It's um, dropped it quite a nice height. So once he drives it, a couple of months, that'll settle and go a little bit lower. But that's perfect. Thanks for watching. Remember, like and subscribe.